How you doing guys and welcome back. Welcome back here to another day in Q. Because remember I can't say the word. And oh, by the way, welcome, welcome to all the new subscribers to the channel. And thank you guys for those that in these hard times still supporting the channel by buying merchandise. So thank you guys. And I know the orders, some of them are taking a little bit long. Because remember they're made to order. So uh, just trying to bring you guys some entertainment. Here we're going to do uh, a few things around the house. And then I remember uh, from the last stream you guys were playing around saying make the cuban the cuban sandwich so i decided to make a video on it so i'm gonna go right now to the store and buy the supplies to make the cuban sandwich and if you guys haven't had one now you can make it yourself so how's everybody doing uh, in this uh q situation in the sea <laughs> uh what's going around because you know uh if you guys don't know i'm saying q for the staying home part and to see what's happening because videos are getting uh, uh, shut down on uh, YouTube because of saying those words so uh, and restricted and it happened to me twice already so that's why I'm saying Q and C. All right guys, so I'm here at the grocery store, but the question is this, if everything is gonna be at the store, cause if you guys notice, a lot of stores are empty. So hopefully, uh, this one here by my house, hopefully they have it. Let's go check it out. See if we can get lucky and find uh, the stuff we need, especially Cuban bread here in Miami. Cause a lot of people eat Cuban bread in the mornings here in Miami. So hopefully we get lucky. We got lucky on Cuban bread. So far, so good. So check this out. This is the toilet paper aisle and napkins. Everything is gone. Everything, everything is empty. Like you notice we got lucky, they had all the meats that we needed and now we're looking for uh, pickles. Because believe it or not, Cuban sandwiches take pickles. And where are the pickles? Pickles. We found the pickles. Now we just need a few, we don't need them that many so I'm trying to look for the smallest bottle possible. Uh, everything is so big. And you know what, let me grab some olives because Gabby loves olives. But you know what, she loves the ones with the seeds in it. Isn't that crazy? And all of them are seedless. I need the one with the seeds. I guess, here it goes, one with seeds. Can you believe it? She loves olives with seeds. All right, let me grab the pickles. Let me grab the pickles. Uh, this is, check this out. No eggs. I guess everybody loves eggs. Just like us, no eggs. All right guys, so we got lucky. Lucky that we found all the ingredients that we needed. 
supplies, even the bread. I was a little shocked because it's kind of late. So I thought all the bread would be gone. So uh, see how it was? Everybody took all the napkins and toilet paper. I don't know why. <laughs> well, I guess I know why. Everybody's in the house eating and going to the bathroom. All right, made it back. So I guess today is gonna be a cooking show. Let's go channel cooking. Well, I guess it's not cooking. I guess it's preparing and uh, should be fun. made it back home and actually guys I have a secret to tell you guys I bought something for the kids since you know well you're here at home bored and start shopping and browsing so I got a little surprise for you guys well for you guys and my kids as soon as it comes you guys will see the video but it's gonna be pretty cool I'm excited uh, because they've been wanting it for a long time so I figured let me just get it you know maybe we could get all of us could get entertained so, so let's go inside with the ship Come again. All I can find was the pineapple. All I can find was the pineapple. No papayas. No papayas. You guys just saw me buying this at the store, right? And this little rat right there just ate half of the olives. That's how crazy she is. A little right here at the house, so we're gonna get ready and got the two loaves of bread. We're gonna make two because we're gonna make some for later on. And then first time I get this type of pickle, it's actually kind of sweet. I like it. And then we got the meats. Oh, that's Swiss cheese, and I guess we're making we're making just a few for lunch. We're waiting for the master chef to come. I don't know where she's at. And then we got for snack a pineapple. All right, so we're ready. And this is what I was talking about. It's called a what, a hot press? I think. Yeah, hot press. I wasn't sure what it was called, so. Um, I called it una blancha for us Latinos, una blancha. And I guess a hot press, I called it a hot. Uh, I don't know what I called it on the video, but we'll see what it goes. Then we got, um, we're gonna work it right here. And we get the meat. And the cook, we got the cook right there. Not the cook. The preparer. Okay, so check this out. This is, what is this, rolls? Okay. Spanish rolls pork. Spanish rolls pork. Serrano ham. Serrano ham okay. and Swiss cheese. And then we got the pickles there that I got the wrong ones because these are sweet pickles, it's supposed to be regular pickles. And then um, I guess we get the, let me get it. Yuli's ready. Yuli, you ready? You want a sandwich too? Yuli wants a sandwich. All right, so. I mean, you got that, that knife right there she's gonna kill somebody with. Here we go, we got, definitely need the Cuban bread. And by the way, this is not real Cuban bread because it's made in Publix. Usually, you get them at a, a like at a, what do you call it? A little cafeteria or stuff like that. A little store, some Latin stores. But Publix makes them here, so we'll get them from Publix. So, here we go. She chopping it up. Uh oh, you see dangerous with them knives. We're gonna make a, a pineapple, a pineapple uh, cumin sandwich. Then you need mayonnaise, um, mayonnaise, uh, mustard. All right. There's two ways, of, well actually there's three ways of doing it. We're doing it the simplest, do it yourself. Um, wait, oh look at that, she piling, she piling it up. Gotta spread it. Got a lightly spread. Woo. So if you have a high cholesterol, this is not recommended. <laughs> and if you're watching carbs, definitely not recommended. So we're gonna do both, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut them in little pieces and then put them out 
you know, in the refrigerator, and then we heat them up. And what is that thing called again? The press. Yeah. The hot press. There we go. All right, check this out. Look, look. This, this is, this is a. Uh, well, it's kind of hot now, but you flip and it becomes a waffle maker. Do you guys know what that is? Let me know what the, if you guys know what that is. You know what? It's gonna be a cooking show today. I'm gonna make something in that later on, and you guys gonna fig. You know, you guys gonna see how cool that is right there. All right, back to the sandwiches. So we, we're applying right now mayonnaise, right? Yes. I'm focused. She's focused. I'm the director, the food director, and the camera director. I guess I'm something. All right, so. And by the way, guys, this was uh, a suggestion from a few people when I was doing the live stream on Monday because we, we were talking about food. So they asked me I should make a video on making Cuban sandwiches. So that's the whole idea started. So now I'm making it. Next. Next. So you don't miss it? You don't miss it all. You got to squirt it. You got to squirt it. Oh, shake it. You got to shake it up, boy. You got to shake that mayonnaise right there. And it's like this. Oh, it's like that. You got to make a zigzag. To it works. If you don't make a zigzag, it's not gonna taste no, the same. No, it's just light. It's just uh. So remember, on, zigzag. On one time. Zigzag, because it's not, it's not gonna taste the same. If you make straight lines, it's spicy. If you make zigzag, it's normal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is roast pork. This now, goes next to the mustard. Yeah, the reason we got so little because the problem is roast pork is a very strong taste. So you don't want to overpower the sandwich. So we kind of put like, whoa, I can just smell it right now. So we put it one little, you know, one slice, you know. And then you could go as heavy as you want. We like light meat. Some people like double meat, so we like the light meat. Whoa, that's a strong. I gotta smell it from here. So we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do two, two loaves because we cut them in little pieces and then while, while the animals here get hungry, they eat it. They just go to the refrigerator and, well, it's almost, almost, almost short. Yeah, was, it's, five, it's six. Yeah, you know why? Because the thing is, is a smaller thing. I always get a little bit extra. Yeah, there's usually a bigger, bigger, I guess bigger meat cut or whatever you want to call it. But this one's smaller. Then you get the serrano ham. Then you get the... Not the, the sweet, the regular one. Yeah, this is, a, I guess, a smoky serrano, I think. Whatever it is, not the sweet. This is the salty How one. How many slices you got of this? Uh, Half a pound. You didn't count the slices. I no, I didn't count the slices. slices. I was gonna call you, but I forgot. Okay, guys, so you're supposed to count the slices. I didn't count the slices. I went by weight and I think I'm short. Oh, well, we got other ham there, so we oh, can just stick the, other, we can stick the other ham. What'd you say, boy? You hungry? That's why you came. I thought you came to help. You actually came to eat. You know what? People were saying you're watching weird stuff on the, on the tablet. And it, he wasn't. He was just watching. I don't know what you're, what you're watching. A show? What? People were saying you're watching weird stuff on the, on the tablet when they saw it on the video. But no, he's watching some kind of show there. I don't know. Oh, look, he's out fishing. I don't know. I don't know what kind of show he's watching, but all right. So back to the sandwiches. No, my kid was not watching. Because that's what the people were saying. We're laying it down right about now. Fold it in half. And then fold it in half. Like I said, we like light meat. Some people like heavy meat, so you make double. You know. So for every loaf, you got, what is it, like five? Something like that? You, I always buy like six slices per, per loaf. Well, six slices per slow. Oh, look, we got a helper. Look at this helper. Look, look, look. Not you, Rudy. You really want to help, right? No, he wants to eat the whole bread. I'm so excited. I'm so hungry. All right, so back, back to the sandwich making. So, all right. So there you go. So remember, guys, if you guys heavy meat, you make everything double. So per loaf, how many, how many, how many are you putting per loaf? No, uh, whatever is enough here. Is it now? Swiss cheese. Swiss mm -hmm. cheese. I like Swiss cheese. All right. Can you get a piece? Right, let me see if it's enough. You can start about everything. Right? Yeah, I didn't do slices. I went by weight. So, my mistake. Can the person make a mistake? I made a mistake. It's supposed to be by slices. I made by weight. So, uh, we'll see how it goes. So, this is uh, this is Swiss cheese. Uh, the trick, yeah, also is... Swiss cheese, when it melts, when you heat it up, it's more like, um, it's more rubbery, you wanna call it? Oh yeah. So, I like it. and it gives it like a salty taste. Yeah, I guess, I guess Swiss cheese is a little saltier, I guess, well, I don't it know. Holes in it. And you got holes in it, you know what? The rats been eating the cheese. Nah, I'm what? just kidding. That's just the way it comes. I don't know why it comes is like it that. Is it air bubbles? 
Uh, I don't know. You know what? Let me let me taste some of this thing. Yeah. I want some too. You want some? Okay, yeah, half. Let me do a taste. Thank you. Yeah. Swiss Swiss cheese smells weird. But it's good though. So, all right, we're laying it down. Swiss cheese. All right. The pineapple is just decoration. Don't worry about it, guys. We're not going to put the pineapple inside. Okay, the pickles. Should now. I put these or no? I don't know. Taste it. I like them. If you want, just put it on one side. I'm not going to eat sandwich. You want to try it? Susie? Pickles. Want to try it? Oh, and by the way, guys, only us. She won't eat the sandwich because her diet. Right, us man, we didn't even. Baby. All right, so yeah, check out, check out these pickles. I made a mistake buying them, but it tastes pretty good. Here, take here, taste one of the pickles. Look, yes, I stuck my dirty fingers kinda, on it. Kind of, kind of uh, drying because yeah, you, you gotta dry the pickles. The it's too wet. Mushy. Can you? Here you go. Yeah, taste this pickle. Look, taste. It tastes really good. I like it. it. Has like a weird taste, but I like it. Sweet. Yeah. I made a mistake and I bought sweet pickles. It should have been regular pickles. So I, so I guess I'm full of mistakes today. Bought by pound, it should have been by slice. Bought the wrong pickles. <laughs> but, but he got me my pineapple that I asked. But she, she, she wanted a pineapple and a sandwich. No, I'm just kidding. She doesn't want pineapple, so we got pineapple. Pineapple. So yeah, I guess dry up the pickles a little bit because now they're gonna make the sandwich mushy. So. She drying up. You can stick them in the dryer too, and no, I'm just kidding. Tastes pretty, I, it's kind of weird. I don't really like pickles, but I kind of like this taste. They're like sweet. What are they called? Bread and butter. Bread and butter. They're kind of sweet. Mm. Bad. Not bad. I like, I like the regular sour ones. You like the sour ones? No, I don't. Uh, I don't really don't, like don't pickles. Don't put them, don't put them. If you want, you can cut off the regular ones, if we still have. The sliced one. Alright, I eat them then. Because honestly, I thought it was going to be sour. I eat them. So then I'll put them with a. Nah, don't worry about it. I eat it by myself. No, te lo pongo aquí. I eat it by myself. It's all good. I'll put it on this. I eat it now. Mm. Is this enough for you? Well, I guess awesome. mm. Is this enough for you? Yeah. Alright, yeah, so since it was my mistake, I get to eat my own pickles because nobody wants to eat the sweet pickles. pickles. So remember, the regular sour pickles, I made a mistake about sweet pickles. Dill, not sour, dill pickles. Dill pickles, you need to buy dill, dill pickles, right? Yes. Dill pickles, dill pickles, dill pickles. All right, so now you, uh, I guess, forget the pickles, no pickles on this one, because again, I made a mistake. Pile them back together neat, <coughs> all right? Bless you. What do you got? All right, so now we cut them up in little pieces. You got them all the little pieces. Little tiny pieces. Cause like that, you know, you get to choose and eat as much as you want. So I guess. Are you gonna toast them? More for me. So there we go. The hot press. Oh yeah, it's hot, baby. It is hot. Ooh, I can feel it. All right. So. Let me put yours. Why well, not? It's too big. Oh, I want that. That's want the that. one that has the pickles. Yeah, yeah, but just kind of little pieces. That's you cool. sure? Yeah, man, I ain't going to eat that big old thing right now. I'm hungry. You're always hungry. So, all right. So, this is my section because I get it with the wrong pickles. Nobody likes the sweet pickles, so I guess. I'll be eating pickles for weeks. All right, so you place, place it in the hot plate. Really? You if hear, you want, you can put a little bit of butter on the outside of the bread. Oh yeah, you can put butter on the side of the bread. You heard it, you heard the sizzle. That was the sizzle. All right, I love it. You see when it gets crunchy like that? Mm. So what you do is you put it on the press um, for like, I don't know. I like it. Uh, Hot, hot, but not hot enough because if you toast it too long, the Cuban bread gets hard as rock. So you kind of toast it and gets more or less, you know, like, you know, maybe. So there you go, you see? I love it when it gets that little crisp right there. Look at that. A little, mm, right there. And you know what else tastes really good? You see that cheese melting right there? Boy, that tastes good. See, 
when you go to the restaurants, they actually open the bread up, I mean, the sandwich, and they, they, they hot press it on the cheese and everything. It's kind of messy, but it tastes really good when the cheese is burnt. It's like eating uh, burnt cheese in the pizza. I like it. All right, so right there, right there, everybody waiting for the thing. And yes, mine goes first, so they don't, they don't get confused with the pickles. Everybody complaining about pickles. Okay, I think this is done. I don't want to get too hot. And then the bread get too crunchy, and then and then my my false teeth fall out. And mm -hmm. this is what Ovita's having. And there, what is Ovita's having for lunch? Turkey burgers. What? what are you gonna have? What are you gonna make that? Of? Like you know, oh, you're gonna make it on there. Okay, so she made herself turkey burgers. While us peoples here, we eat the bad stuff. Oh, thank you. All right, that's good. That's good. That's good because I don't want it to get too hard. All right, so that's it, guys. I guess it's a cooking show. <laughs>